Hi guys, I really hope that you are well. Alors, salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez tous très bien. So, um, uh, yeah, as per normal, if you like the video, please click like. Alors, si vous aimez bien la vidéo, alors merci de cliquer sur like, merci de liker la vidéo. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Alors, n'oubliez pas de vous abonner si vous n'êtes pas déjà abonné. Um, or si vous vous êtes pas déjà abonné, because abonné can be an adjective or a verb. Um, Yes, so basically, um, I've had the most beautiful letter, and we're going to translate it together. Okay, alors moi j'ai eu enfin, une belle lettre, et on va la traduire tout, enfin, tout le monde ensemble, on va tous euh, la traduire. So, I will attach a copy of the um, letter underneath in the description, so if you want to have a little go by yourself, press pause now. Try not to have my face in some kind of like position. Oui, alors donc je vais attacher ici dessous euh, dans la description, la partie description, euh, la lettre. Donc si vous avez envie quand même de, 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 de la traduire euh, maintenant, euh, tout seul, euh, alors il faut arrêter la vidéo. Mais merci de ne pas le faire avec, euh, avec mon visage ainsi. So this is a letter from Rania. Um, uh, who is from Canada. Now, this is going to seem really, really weird, but um, ça va paraître bizarre, but I watch Say Yes to the Dress with a very important 80-year-old girl in my life. And we watched the Canadian version. And if I remember correctly, one of the shop assistants in the wedding dress shop from Canada was called Rania. I have a brain for detail. Alors, je regarde Say Yes to the Dress. Uh, avec une petite fille de 8 ans qui est très importante. Et voilà, et si je m'en souviens bien, une des vendeuses qui travaillait dans ce magasin euh, s'appelait Rania. Lovely. So, off you go. Cher Luc. Dear Luc. I might cry during this video because it's a really nice, this, this letter, because it's a really nice letter. Je viens de regarder ton dernier vidéo. That should be ta dernière vidéo. Yep, I-E with a grave R-E, video with an accent. Et j'ai décidé, E acute and E acute, j'ai décidé de t'écrire cet email pour te dire félicitations. You can say pour te dire félicitations, but it would just be more common to say pour te féliciter, yeah, to congratulate you. Again, with félicitations. Now, there's not many accents. Are there any accents? I don't think there's any accents on this. So I'm imagining Rania hasn't got access to... Um, like a sort of European keyboard where she can do accents. Uh, alors, il n'y a pas beaucoup d'accents, donc je ne pense pas qu'elle ait accès à un clavier européen pour pouvoir faire des accents. If you're doing it on a, an iPhone, you can sort of hold your finger and that will give you access to all the different accents per letter. Alors, si vous avez quand même l'iPhone, on peut quand même appuyer sur le bouton et ça va vous donner accès aux, 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 enfin, aux accents. Good. So, uh, yeah, we can say email, I say email, more commonly than not. Courrier électronique, we will say whatever, whatever. Alors, je m'appelle Rania, notice the double L when you say my name is. But if you say to call, appeler, one L. Rania, alors je suis canadienne, notice the double N, canadienne. J'habite à Hamilton, needs a grave on the A. En Ontario, uh, l'été dernier, uh, needs accents on the letter été. Mon mari et moi, on a visité le sud de la France. Quelle belle région. So, je m'appelle Rania. My name is Rania. Je suis Canadienne. I am Canadian. J'habite à Hamilton, uh, en Ontario. So I live in Hamilton, in Ontario. L'été dernier, mon mari et moi, we could say avons visité ou nous avons visité ou comme on a visité. If you're going to start with a new subject, le sud de la France. Quelle belle région. A région with an accent on the E. So lovely. So um, I live in Hamilton, in Ontario. Last year, last summer, pardon me, my husband and I, we visited the south of France. What a beautiful region. Very good French so far. Je suis tombée amoureuse de Cassis, Aix-en-Provence, donc j'ai décidé d'y prendre ma retraite. Mais pour réussir, j'ai besoin d'apprendre le français, alors je commence l'aventure. So, je suis tombée, accent on the first E, amoureuse de, good preposition, Rania, de Cassis, Aix-en-Provence, uh, donc j'ai... Oui, Capitals as well, because it's the, um, still the name. Donc, j'ai décidé, e acute, e acute, d'y prendre ma retraite. 
to retire there. So I fell in love with Cassis and Aix-en-Provence. Or X people often just say, so I decided to take my retirement there. Mais pour réussir, j'ai besoin d'apprendre le français. But in order to succeed, um, um, I need to learn French. Alors je commence l'aventure. So I'm starting the adventure. Good. J'ai étudié la langue française quand j'étais jeune en Syrie. Um, uh, so I studied the French language, Sedilla on the sea, when I was young in Syria. Um, and without being overly political, because I try and make this a safe space, um, Syrian culture before the problems that they currently have was so cool. Um, it was such a fun place. Um, yeah, I've read quite a lot about that. So, you know, spare a thought for Syria. I know it's often not in the limelight. Other places are obviously taking over right now because there's so much horror elsewhere in the world. But let's not forget that Syria is not in the best the best shape at the moment. God bless them. So j'ai étudié la langue française quand j'étais jeune en Syrie. So I studied the French language when I was young in Syria. Mais après avoir déménagé au Canada. So if you're going to use après, you've got the graph. Okay, and then the verb to move. To move okay. Um, that's absolutely fine, but again, we need the accents. So, um, if you think déménagé, alors après avoir déménagé, you're going to have to have three accents. Um, sorry, my computer's trying to load Chrome, and I don't want it just yet. Um, notice it's au Canada because it's a masculine country. Et je ne l'utilise jamais, donc j'ai beaucoup oublié. Well done for popping beaucoup before the oublié. Good job, good job, good job, good job. D'abord, I think that's nice if you're writing to pop a comma there. OK? Alors d'abord, je trouve très difficile, très with a graph, de me souvenir de. You need se souvenir de. Yeah? Se souvenir de. Toutes les règles, uh, we need an ES on the tout because rules are feminine. Les règles with the accent, les pronoms. Um, les prépositions, uh, pronom on the end, les prépositions, et acute and an S on the end, les, uh, le vocabulaire, les conjugaisons, good. Oh là là, accent on the oh là là. C'était trop, et acute on the c'était trop, lowercase t on the trop. But the French is gorgeous. J'en peux plus, non, je m'en peux plus, but I'm liking the fact that you are comfortable with the fact that a reflexive verb and on go together a lot with phrasal verbing. Um, je me suis demandé, poetry past, lovely, well done, reflexive verb in the past, um, uh, s'il y avait une méthode acute, logique, uh, à apprendre. So, um, is there a methodical, is there a logical method to learn? Because you've already mentioned the logical method. So if you're using an infinitive which is referring to an object which has already been mentioned, you tend to use a. Um, uh, or if you mean if there's a logical method to learn, alors pour apprendre, in order to learn, whatever the thing would be. Alors j'ai posé ma question sur YouTube. Uh, logic French learning methods. Et voilà, je, uh, je t'ai trouvé. Merci à Dieu. Alléluia. So I asked myself if there were a logical method of learning and I asked the question on YouTube and logic French learning methods is what you typed and voila I found you thanks be to God hallelujah well that's the point of the channel that's the point of the channel lovely so je t'ai trouvé et acute lovely merci à Dieu capital D um alors le jeune Luc le jeune Luc young Luc now do you mean young Luc as opposed to Luc right now is that what you're trying to say are you sort of being facetious about the kind of like <laughs> The difference between the early videos and that. So, le jeune Luc avec des méthodes, lovely, génial, but you're going to need E and an S because méthode is feminine plural. Um, qui m'a beaucoup aidé, but well done on the double E. Yeah, because he helped you and aidé, quelqu'un is direct, therefore preceding direct object. A apprendre, accent on the A. Grâce, with accents on the A, A, accent on the A. Toi, j'ai réussi à Accents on the A, obtenir. Mon objectif, mon but is more common, but a lot of the time, be careful. The I, V, E spelling of things is the French feminine, not the French standard. So that would be mon objectif. Yeah, with an F, but mon but is more common. Et ça, with an accent on the C, et la deuxième raison, ça c'est. You don't say ça est. 
C'est ça, c'est la, de, la deuxième raison pour laquelle, ou c'est la deuxième raison pour laquelle je voulais t'écrire cet email. C'est pour te dire merci, lovely, ou c'est pour te remercier, it's order to thank you. You're very, very welcome, Rania. This is making me very happy. Désolé d'utiliser, you have désolé de écrire twice, so désolé d'utiliser le tu. Now, there's a lovely verb, Rania, to use to with somebody, which is tutoyer. And the equivalent with the vous is vous voyez. So have, give those a little look. So désolé de, tu, de, de tutoyer. Um, you don't need to say in order to use you, you to write to you. So désolé de tutoyer. Absolutely no problem. I've often said loads. Tutoie me if you're contacting me. Tutoie me if you're contacting me. Um, mais après avoir regardé. So you've done this twice. You've done use this après avoir format twice, which is great, but when you've had après avoir, the auxiliary verb is the infinitive, and the verb that comes next needs to be um, past participle. So après avoir, past participle. So that means regarder with the e acute on the end, and obviously the past participle sounds like the infinitive. Yeah, sounds like the infinitive. So après avoir, regarder with an e acute, te video, plural, and the e on accent on the e, with an s on the end, Um, pendant, if you're going in the past with um, for, you need pendant. Rania, I'll give you absolutely 50% of them because you know you've written me such a lovely email. Alors, je suis prête à te donner uh, un, un, une réduction de, 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 de 50%. Absolutely, have half off. But um, that pendant versus pour is one of the things that we talk about in the written grammar podcasts. Yeah, one of the written grammar podcasts. Je te considère comme, ou je te considère, il est comme, un ami proche. That means the absolute freaking world to me, Rania. That really, really, really does. Um, lovely. So I consider you to be a close friend. So sorry to you to when writing to you, but having watched your videos for the last eight months, I consider you a close friend. Well, come along on a Monday at one of our um, group sessions then. Drop me a little WhatsApp. No? Drop me a little WhatsApp. Uh... Je connais tout ce que tu aimes, so I know everything that you like. Notice this spelling of M with an S for you, lovely. Ce que tu détestes, e acute, that you hate. Tel loisir, I think you meant tel loisir, did you mean tel loisir, your hobbies? Yeah, L-O-I, yeah, L-O-I-S-I-R-S. Tel, tes allergies, uh, uh, God, is that so part of me, my allergies. Um, désolé means the e acute. And the extra E, because you are sorry and you are a lady, according to this. Désolé que tu puisses pas, because sorry is an emotion, so that's going to need the subjunctive. Alors, désolé que tu puisses pas manger, enfin, du pain, le pain. C'est très chiant. Annoying is chiant. So, well done, I can see an effort to get some slang into you. Um, and for somebody who's retiring, you have a very young turn of phrase, so well done. Alors, tu tentes tes phrases d'une manière assez jeune, quoi, bravo. Um, so c'est très chiant, chiant, C-H-I-A-N-T. Tes problèmes graves on the E, médicaux, well done, masculine plural. Je pense que tu es amusant, I think that you're funny. Oh, so um, I know everything that you like, that you hate, your hobbies, your allergies, I'm sorry that you can't eat bread, it's really annoying, and your medical problems. <sighs> yeah. Um, but I'm a strong little shit, so don't worry. Um... And for the dude I love, I would punch through a concrete wall anyway, so it doesn't matter. Je pense que tu es amusant. I think that you're amusing. Passionant. I think you mean passionné. So if you mean passionate, as in like I'm passionate about what I do, then the word would be passionné. Passionant would mean that other people would be passionate about me and they'd find me super, super interesting. If that is what you mean, thank you. But I think you mean passionné. Um, Talentueux needs an, an, an E on the end because there are just some words that the, the X goes on the end, um, you know, even in the singular. I know that you often associate, um, you know, um, the EUX, um, the EUX as um, a plural thing, but in this case it's, it, it's, it's feminine. So T A L E N T U E U X. Talentueux. Yeah, talentueux. There's two U's there. But, um, 
so uh, it's surtout uh, généreux. Again, another, um, you know, if you're going to, I wonder if I can bring up a list of all these words that have got EUX on them. Um, you're generous is another word which has got um, EUX. So don't just think that EUX is a plural. So gen, yeah, je, généreux. Yeah, the EUX is on the singular as well. Um, tu passes ton temps libre à faire, lovely preposition, des vidéos with the accent, pour nous enseigner, careful of the spelling, et tu bénévole à l'hôpital. Tu fais du bénévolat. Okay, so I think that you're very amusing, funny, you know, passionate, talented, and above all, generous. You spend your free time making videos for, to teach us, and you volunteer at the hospital. Lovely. Um, I try to keep that a bit secret so that people don't, people still think I'm a bastard. Um, lovely. So, tu fais du bénévolat. Bénévole is the noun, actually. Yeah, you know, so, il est bénévole à l'hôpital, you know. Um, uh, J'étais très triste de savoir que tu as perdu tes grands-mères à cause de la COVID. Yeah. Um, mes condoléances. So I'm very sorry to know that you lost your grandmothers because of COVID. Uh, my condolences. Accent on the E. Yes, it wasn't because of COVID. They didn't die from COVID. They both died as a result of not getting healthcare because of COVID. Yeah. Um, now, I'm just going to use this opportunity to say A, thank you, that means a lot to me, and B, um, be careful guys that you don't get used to seeing de and then a noun. I need to do a video on this. You all see de and then a noun and you're used to seeing that, like lots of Covid, beaucoup de Covid, lots of people, beaucoup de personnes. If you're coming into a de for any other reason, other than the quantity there, you still need to treat whatever noun comes next as a normal noun, which would mean that we'd only use the de with the quantity, so à cause de la Covid, yeah, okay. Um, uh, mes condoléances. Tu me fais rire beaucoup, tu me fais beaucoup rire, yeah, word order. Mais parfois tu es très dur avec tes élèves, surtout le pauvre Brendan. Now, you need to be tough, you need to be tough, you watch the discussion group, you watch the um, conversation class from the beginning. When you're on week 17 with people, and that same mistake is coming out. Yep, so <laughs> it's a lot of effort to be that behind somebody, let me tell you. Um, but I know you're joking. Brendan plays his face a lot. Um, J'espère que tu aimes cet email. Um, so um, I hope you like this email. Et je suis très fier de moi de l'écrire. Or je suis très fier de moi de l'avoir écrit. I'm, I'm really proud of myself. Um, uh, for having written it. De l'avoir écrit would be nice. Um, I'm very proud of you for writing it and I'm particularly proud of the fact that if you're writing it from stuff you've learned from me, that's lovely. Okay, j'espère que tu aimes cette email. Je suis très fier de moi de l'avoir écrit. À la prochaine. See you next time. Good. Come along on a Monday. 5.30 p.m. UK time. 5.30. Um, um, so that would be what? If you've just retired to the south of France, um, so that would be 6.30 p.m. French time or 9.30 p.m. French time. Um, uh, but if you're living in Hamilton at the moment, so what time zone is Hamilton on? Let's have a little look-see. Hamilton, Ontario. Time zone. Oh, Eastern. Um, so... That would make it, what, half past 12 midday? Um, yes, that would make it half past 12 midday or half past three. Is that something you could do, Rania? By all means, come and join us on the Monday group. Good. Thank you, then. That was an absolutely lovely letter, email, and I really appreciate it. Alors, c'était une, c'était une email très, très, très généreuse de ta part. Je l'apprécie la, énormément. Um, thank you. Really, really lovely. All right, guys, if you've enjoyed this, um, the corrections or anything like that at all, by all means, click underneath and let me know. Um, well done to Rania for writing in. Oh, some people say Rania. Do you say Rania? I do apologise if the whole video I've said Rania and it's Rania. Do please let me know. I will speak to you soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Rania. Rania, I really appreciate it.
I'll tell you why I really like the name as well, because it means spider in Spanish, although written differently. And it's kind of like, yeah, I just think it's a really cool word. All right, take care.